What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on uh, Litecoin. I uh, wanted to do a full update on that since, uh, well, we still have the halving coming up at the beginning of August. It's getting closer and closer. I still rem remember making videos on that at the beginning of this year, that it's something you could anticipate and you could have made some money on that, which is definitely true. I mean, Litecoin has been has been one of the strongest performers out of the um, out of the bigger market cap cryptos since the beginning of this year and actually was already bullish um, at, at the beginning of December, which a lot of cryptos were not. And uh, we actually had some some great bullish moves overall. I mean, it has like it has suffered quite a bit from the bearish momentum we had the last week and week and a half. Also, because it was relatively bullish before that, because of the halving, like institutions and then big traders get into get into light going, getting to the price. They want to make money. So when they actually sell off, you can expect pretty big sell offs. But I still think that Litecoin has some bullish momentum left, especially with the halving uh, still being one and a half months away. Usually, and I said that before, but usually the, the top of the Litecoin rally before the halving um, was around like the, the 20th, 21st of June. I think that's going to be different though this time around because the market circumstances are very different and I think the market has also evolved. But that's also what we'll talk about in this video, right? So that's what we'll do. Before we dive into Litecoin specifically though, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, then check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment and there you'll find instructions on how to join. But now into Litecoin. So Litecoin has actually, also with the bearish momentum we got over, over Wednesday, we suffered quite a bit, right? We had quite a big bearish breakout through that level right here around $75, which is a big psychological support level, uh, but it's also a strong technical support level, as you can see. Um, so we had that, but apart from that, we are bouncing back quite a bit and it seems like we can get some bullish momentum. Now that does still depend on some confirmation because as you can see, I tried to make this level a little bit, a little bit smaller, but the, the real level we still have to break above is this level right here around 75.7 and $75 like like that's the area we still need to break above that would be our last confirmation now then the big question is 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 do we expect that to break personally I do because I do still expect some more bullish momentum from Bitcoin Fridays are usually quite bullish for Bitcoin and Litecoin is quite correlated with Bitcoin as well so if Bitcoin gets that bullish breakout chances are are quite high that Litecoin gets it as well and then we still have the halving coming up which usually we were actually bullish before that and then one and a half month or something before that we actually started to drop i think now market circumstances are different we are reacting to big events in the, in the crypto markets differently um so usually when you have an event like this you are still bullish like a month before so i actually do still expect a higher probability of bullish momentum until the beginning of july after that it gets a little bit tricky i think but that's why i do think that at this point of time the most likely scenario is that we will break above seven, uh, 75.5, that we'll get that bullish breakout, that we'll find a little bit of resistance around 77, get that bullish break retest, uh, and get up towards those levels around 79.5 and $80 again. Now, I must say that uh, it's going to be tough because the overall direction of Bitcoin is still down. We're not going to get a lot of movement in the weekend, right? So uh, get, if, we do have to get this bullish breakout fast because if we do not get it today, then the, the weekend is also not going to be great for us because then we'll probably not have that much movement and we'll just kind of consolidate between 77 and 75 dollars and if if we have a little bit of bad luck we'll have a drop like this again so uh, we do have to wait for confirmation but i do think at this point of time if we're considering all of the technicals and uh, the history and fundamentals around litecoin i think this is the most likely scenario so that's my take on it for now if you do have any questions let me know but for now thank you for watching take care and bye